For my parents' 50th wedding anniversary celebration, I had the blessing of taking them and James to Kentucky. We went on a five-day trip together and uh, drove down to see actually a site that we had seen, my parents and I, 30 years ago. It was the Mammoth Caves. 30 years ago, it struck us with its incredible beauty and they wanted to see it again. The, the memory of it had stayed with them. And they thought, this is the way we want to, to celebrate our anniversary. And when we got there, we were struck again by this incredible world beneath our feet. You can't even fathom from these pictures, which I'm sharing with you from, from our trip, exactly what it was like to be down inside this cave and to realize that it had been carved and formed and was, was there this whole time. And then when we came up above ground after our tour and went out to our car, here was this deer <laughs> sitting in the grass, just relaxing. I think we were able to get within about 20 feet. The whole experience being there down beneath in the caves and there again up above surface and, and seeing the, the creation of God, of his handiwork. You know, you read in Genesis about how he created everything. And when you read in Psalm 104 where it says that he wraps himself in light as a garment and he stretches out the heavens like a tent until you experience like this, you just, you can't quite understand the majesty of our God. But then the Lord even said to Job, where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? He's so awesome. He's so great. He is so beyond our imagination that even when we take one step into his creation, there's still so much to know. And so when he says to us, I know the plans I have for you, we only think we understand. But may I encourage you that they are so vast that we really don't know even an inkling of them yet, of this great love that he has for us. Lord, how high, how deep, how wide is this love of yours? The whole earth is full of your glory. Blessings.